today i will explain working principle of photovoltaic cell that is nothing but solar cell in the solar cell has two layers that is one is for n type layer another one is for p type layer generally in the solar cell has two layers this is nothing but one is nothing but the n type layer another one is for p type layer the n type material is obtained doping the material used here is the silicon material that is is obtained silicon crystal with n type impurity similarly in p type metal is obtained by doping silicon crystal with p type impurities there are two thing is there one is nothing but the n type silicon layer another one is for the p type silicon layer n type layer is nothing but the electrons that is negative charge particle and p type is represent for holes that is the positive terminal that is positive terminal it consists of two thing one is nothing but the n layer another one is for the p layer the n layer is nothing but the electrons and the p layer is nothing but holes holes in the sense the positive terminal electrons is nothing but the negative terminal it is the energy released from the photon in the light wave and the atom in the np junction that is nothing but sir here the junction is represent for the depletion layer the depletion layer it is merged for the both electron as well as for the holes electron as well as for the holes and electrons are released from the n type material and holes are created in the p type material this electrons are negative charge and holes are present for the positive charge particle the direction of current from positive terminal that is positive terminal is represent for p type positive terminal to negative terminal that is represent for the n type is given into the external circuit you can observe here the outlet is consist of two thing in that the pv panel like array n number of rows and then n number of columns the each cell this is if again it is for flat type collector another one is for the concentrating collector for flat plate collector the temperature in between 50 to 100 degree centigrade that is 50 degree centigrade for winter and 100 degree centigrade for the summer for the concentrating and then parabolic collector the temperature the range in between 150 to 500 degree centigrade 150 to 500 degree centigrade the pv panel it is constructed in terms of array array means number of rows and then number of columns number of rows and number of columns this is represent for individual cell the each cell voltage 0.3 to 0.5 volt the each cell voltage is 0.3 to 0.5 volt and the current in terms of milliampere the each cell voltage is 0.3 to 0.5 volt and the current in terms of milliampere that is 0.15 milliamps and the top layer is represent for the negative layer that is electrons and the bottom layer is represent for the positive layer that is holes the top layer is nothing but the negative layer that is electrons and the bottom layer is represent for the positive layer that is nothing but the holes in solar cell it consists of two layer one is nothing but the n type silicon layer another one is for the p type silicon layer the n type is nothing but the electrons p type is nothing but the holes this the merge together this is represent for the depletion layer this is represent for the depletion layer in this the both combination it releases for the electrons that is the top in that the pv panel the photovoltaic panel the glasses the solar radiation observed in that the pv panel and output in the form of electrons flow that is i it will be flowing and already we know that the power is a product of voltage and current that is p equal to vi cos phi p equal to vi cos phi the cos phi is nothing but the unity power factor it is cosine of angle with it, voltage and current but for us we are producing the electricity in the product of voltage and then current that is p equal to vi and here we can generate the power with the help of the solar radiation in a day time that is 4 to 6 hours per day or the maximum we can generate 8 hours per day but at present we are generating only 4 to 6 hours per day again the material used the material used in the pv panel is 
three types of materials are classified monocrystalline polycrystalline amorphous monocrystalline polycrystalline another one is for the amorphous for power generation they are used is two material one is for the monocrystalline another one is for the polycrystalline in monocrystalline the efficiency is more and the cost is also high in polycrystalline the efficiency is somewhat less and the cost is less comparing to the monocrystalline but in india for all the places they are preferred only for polycrystal because the cost is less at the same time in india the solar radiation is maximum in india the solar radiation that is temperature is high we can generate the power 4 to 6 hours per day but in us japan they are used for the monocrystalline there the solar radiation is very very less and they can generate the power with the help of the photovoltaic module only 45 minutes to 1 hour for that purpose they are preferred for the poly monocrystalline but in india we are utilized for polycrystalline here in solar energy it consists of three application one is for the thermal application electrical application another one is for the chemical application there are three types of application is there one is for thermal application electrical application another one is for the chemical application but maximum they are preferred for the two thing one is for the thermal application another one is for the electrical applications but the chemical application is used only for the paramedical industries but up to at present 30 to 40 percentage they are utilized for the thermal application and 65 to 70 percentage they are utilized for the electrical application thermal application in the sense of water heating space heating space cooling so on etc and electrical application means directly the solar radiation is converted into electricity that is the output in the form of dc further we need to, but maximum 95 to 99 percentage we are utilized for the ac electricity but the output of the pv panel is dc we need to convert the dc to ac with the help of inverter with the help of inverter again in solar pv system it is classified for two type one is for the standalone system another one is for the grid connected system standalone system another one is for the grid connected system from standalone system they are utilized only for the particular consumer one consumer two or only one home appliances are up to three or four consumers but grid connected system we need to utilize for n number of consumers n number of consumers now you can see here this is nothing but the standalone system this is the structure of the power generation in pv panel that is the photovoltaic module is fixed at an angle it is not placed for the 90 degree they are placed in the east west direction or north south direction but maximum they are preferred for the east west direction because the sun rises in the east and sun set on the west the sun rises in the east and sun set on the west the pv panel that is the photovoltaic module is placed in the direction of east west direction and tilted at some an angle it is not in the 90 degree tilted some an angle like it is like a grid number of rows and then number of columns it individually is represent for the cell so each cell voltage is 0.3 to 0.5 volt and the ampere is 0.15 milliampere whenever observes the photovoltaic module it consists of two layer one is nothing but the p type silicon layer another one is for the n type layer it releases for the electron electrons and then holes and it produced in the form of electricity now this the output connected to the charge controller the charge controller they are used is mppt charge controller that is the maximum power point tracking charge controller which tracks the maximum energy the maximum energy in the sense that is p max equal to v max into i max v max into i max it capture it any one of the particular point and taken in the form of rectangular shape that is p equal to v it captures the maximum amount of power for example in the evening after 4:30 the pv power radiation is reduced even though at the time also we can generate the power with the help of mppt charge controller that is mppt means it tracks wherever the voltage and current is there that observe and generated the power that is the maximum power is obtained by in single phase system that is p equal to vi cos phi that is v max into i max maximum voltage with respect to the 
maximum current flow. That is P equal to V max I max. But here the power factor we are thinking for unity power factor. The power factor it represents for the unity power factor. In this, the photovoltaic module, the outlet is connected to the charge controller. This MPPT charge controller, the function is which extract the maximum power in that the PV system. And the output of the charge controller connected to the grid. The outlet of the charge controller is connected to the battery. The battery two terminal is there. One is nothing but the positive terminal. Another one is for the negative terminal. Charge the battery whenever the solar radiation is available. Daytime the battery is charging. Now here the bidirection. One is nothing but in this charge controller to charge the battery. Another one discharge utilized to the load. And the PV panel the output is DC directly charges the battery. And the charge controller the outlet the DC. But for us home appliances for us required for the AC electricity the load we are utilized 95 to 99 percentage only for the AC system with the help of inverter convert DC into AC or that utilized for the load utilized for the load. Here this is nothing but the standalone system standalone means in the top of the roof we are placed for the PV panel in the particular home we can generate the electricity the particular home we can generate the electricity that is represent for standalone system and the next one is grid connected photovoltaic system grid connected means we can connect it to the distribution grid distributed grid. now the same structure here we are placed for the utility power that is nothing but the grid remaining the structure is same remaining structure is that is the photovoltaic module the pv panel the material used is polycrystalline material but amorphous we are not used for the power generation that is the voltage is very very less it is used for ties solar watches and solar clock calculator so on etc wherever the voltage is less for the particular places we can utilize it for the amorphous but power generation used only two things one is for the monocrystalline another one is for the polycrystalline but in india we are used for polycrystalline material it observes the solar radiation so output given for the dc the help of charge controller charges the battery as well as connected to the utility grid as well as connected to the utility grid and the utility grid is also by direction whenever we are generating the power from the pv module i can given to the utility grid whenever the pv panel in the night time and the cloudy days there is no electricity night time and then cloudy days there is no electricity at the time the backup we are taking one method is nothing but the with the help of the battery another one we can utility for the utility grid that is nothing but the distribution remaining all the function is there is the pv panel the outlet in the charge controller that is mppt charge controller and the output of the charge controller store the battery here the output in the form of dc again but for us required for the ac for us required for the ac that is for the application utilization purpose as well as for the grid purpose for us required for ac now here the generated power we can synchronize we can synchronize the voltage power factor and then frequency given to the grid system given to the grid system or else if directly required for us the home appliances directly we can utilize it for the ac load after the inverter after the inverter this is the grid connected system and another one is for the hybrid system actually at present the demand is increased drastically the demand is increased drastically now the power generation is less than the power demand demand is maximum but the generation is constant but we need to satisfy it for the consumer we need to satisfy it for the consumer that is we can provide quality and then quantitative power quality and then quantitative power if you depend only the single power generation it is not survey the all the consumers for that purpose we are going for the hybrid system hybrid in the sense the combination of more than one is nothing but the hybrid system combination of more than one is represent for hybrid system here i am taken the two system one is nothing but the photovoltaic module another one is for the dg set that is a diesel generator set the daytime we can generate the power with the help of the photovoltaic module under cloudy days and then rainy days and night time we can't be able to generate the power with the help of photovoltaic module at that time we can utilize it for the dg set that is diesel generator this is we can utilize it for standalone system as well as for the grid connected system 
that is in the photovoltaic module the output is a dc with the help of charge controller we can capture the power we can capture the power that stored in the battery the battery function is two thing one is nothing bidirectional operation whenever the pv is there the solar radiation is there we can charge the battery whenever the solar radiation is not available we can discharge the energy we can discharge the energy now at that time the dc set is uh, completely off the dc set is completely off if the solar radiation is available the power is generated in the pv module the total the diesel generator set is off now again this the charge controller connected to the inverter uh, because for us required for the ac power which converts dc to ac can use directly load or given to the grid system or given to the utility power if night time are the cloudy days and then rainy days we can't able to generate the power with the help of pv with the help of pv but all the consumers are dependent for the electricity without electricity we can't do anything without electricity we can't do anything but maximum when we are wake up bed and up to go to the bed almost till 90 to 95 percent days the work is dependent for the electricity without electricity we can't live for all the industries running only for the electricity and at that time we can utilize it for the dg set that is nothing but the diesel generator set directly if you required means we can used for the load or else we can given to the utility grid also utility grid. that is there are three types is there one is for the standalone system grid connector system another one is for the hybrid system hybrid system and the next topic is vi characteristics of solar cell based upon the vi characteristics only we can find out how much the power is generated in the particular area that is with the help of the photovoltaic module here we are considering three parameter one is the voltage current and then power power delivered by the solar cell considering for the three parameter one is nothing but the voltage vm is nothing but the maximum voltage im is nothing but maximum current isc is short circuit current voc is nothing but open circuit voltage the vi character 6 the plot the solar cell the x axis taken for the voltage and y axis taken for the current that is voltage with respect to the current characteristics based upon the rating based upon the rating the vi character 6 it should be different that is if it should be increased from vi that is the product of the v into i here we are getting for the maximum power that is p max equal to v max into i max p max equal to v max into i max that is the maximum voltage and then maximum current the power is a product of voltage and current with respect to the power factor but here we are assuming unity power factor we are assuming unity power factor that is the curve is taken from the x axis and then the y axis and the x axis is nothing but the voltage that is represent for the open circuit voltage voc and y axis is current that is short circuit current i esc here the maximum the power the maximum power from the capture in this the particular curve denoted the current and the voltage that is the maximum current is represent for the im and the maximum voltage is represent for the vm now in this the vi character 6 we can find out the fill factor vi character 6 we can find out for the fill factor the fill factor means it is defined as the ratio of you can find out the fill factor the fill factor is defined as the ratio of vm im that is the maximum voltage maximum current with respect to the v short circuit current and then open circuit voltage short circuit current and then open circuit voltage that is the fill factor is defined as the ratio of the product of maximum current and maximum voltage with respect to the short circuit current and then open circuit voltage this is represent for the fill factor generally this value the range in between 0 to 1 the fill factor the value is range in between 0 to 1 that is the binary value 0 to 1 okay the fill factor means the fill factor is defined as the ratio of the product of maximum voltage with respect to the maximum current and short circuit current with respect to the open circuit voltage this the fill factor can be obtained from the vi characteristics generally this value the range in between 
zero to one. Never exceed the value one. Never exceed the value. But practically, we are getting in between. That is zero point six or zero point seven, zero point zero point eight. And here, the maximum power can be obtained. That is in the rectangular direction. The rectangular direction. In this, the particular point, this is available. The help of the MPPT, that is the maximum power point tracker. In this, a particular point taken from the x-axis and then y-axis. In the rectangular direction, that is the maximum voltage in this the particular point, and the maximum current in the particular point. We can utilize to the power. We can utilize to the power. If you want to find out the maximum power in the term of open circuit voltage, in the for term of open circuit voltage, at the time that is the P maximum, we can find out that is I m into I m into V O C into fill factor. Fill factor simply it is represent for F F. Fill factor simply it is represent for F F. But for efficient cell, generally the fill factor can be obtained from I S C with respect to the V O C. I S C with respect to the V O C. This is the V A characteristics of solar cell. Based upon the V A characteristics only, we can find out how much the power is generated. How much the power is generated? That is either monocrystalline or polycrystal and one more thing in this the solar photovoltaic power generation used for low power application medium power application as well as for the high power application but the open land requirement the open space area the large quantity of the land is required and the next one methods of storing solar energy actually in this the renewable energy sources not continuous and constant power generation and generate the less amount of power generate the less amount of power this is the major drawback in the renewable energy sources here when take in the solar system we can generate the power in a day and on average 4 to 6 hours per day this out of 24 hours we can generate the power only 4 to 6 hours at that time how much the power utilization is directly we can take the remaining power generation from the photovoltaic module we can store in the form of battery further that we can utilize for future on the particular day or next day or after the day in that the week that is the battery available in the battery available in the market is 12 volt battery another one is for the 24 volt battery battery available in the market is 12 volt battery and then 24 volt battery Based upon the requirement, we can connect it n number of battery in the series parallel combination. N number of battery we can connect it in the series parallel combination. That is, solar energy is a time dependent and intermittent energy resource. That is, it is not continuous and constant power generation and generate the less amount of power. And energy storage may be in the form of sensible heat, a solid or liquid, and in the form of latent heat. We can that is we can store it in the form of either heat energy or directly in the form of liquid means directly in the form of electrical energy and the solar energy storage system are classified as various types and is the mechanical system thermal chemical electrochemical and then electrical system electrical system in solar system solar electrical energy storage it classified for total five methods you can store it in the form of energy in the form of mechanical energy or thermal energy chemical energy electrochemical energy another one is for the electrical energy in this the thermal energy how they are stored in the thermal means it is two method one is nothing but the sensible heat another one is for the latent heat one is for the sensible heat another one is for the latent heat in this the thermal energy it is classified for two method one is for the sensible heat method another one is for the latent heat method but for thermal application the maximum we are preferred for the sensible heat method that is water storage that is means water heating or the water storage another one is nothing but possible bed storage we can use in the thermal application that is used for the water heater another one space heating and then space cooling if you coming from the electrical application directly we can convert it, the solar radiation into electricity Directly, we are converted the solar radiation into electricity. Here, the storage in the form of capacitor storage, inductance storage, another one is for the 
battery storage in the electrical system the storage purpose used is capacitor storage inductor storage another one is for the battery storage if you go for the capacitor and then industry inductor storage the cost is high the cost is high for that purpose we are used for the battery but based upon the application the battery are classified for lead acid battery nickel ion nickel cadmium so on etc but maximum they are preferred for the lead acid battery lead acid battery and uh, another one is for the chemical application this the chemical application is used for the para chemical industries para chemical industries and uh, mechanical applications is used for pumping hydroelectric storage and compressed air flywheels these are used for the mechanical applications generally the solar the photovoltaic system is used for the major three application one is for the thermal application another one is chemical application next one is for the electrical application this the mechanical and the thermal is concentrated for the and electrochemical sorry these two concentrated for the thermal application mechanical as well as for the thermal and the chemical and the electrochemical is concentrated for the chemical application another one is for the electrical application that is nothing but the electricity here in the solar photovoltaic system we can convert the directly the solar radiation into electricity we can convert the directly solar radiation into electricity and the two method is are one is something about the on grid system another one is for the off grid system if you go for the on grid system the cost is less in the solar photovoltaic system the cost is less because the 60% of the cost is depending on the battery remaining 40% is system and the pv module remaining accessory equipments remaining accessory equipments here the 60% of the cost is goes for the battery that is in stand alone system if you go for the grid system the cost is minimized but one problem is there and so much of research is going on we need to synchronize that is synchronization synchronize the three parameters one is for the voltage another one is for the frequency next one is power factor if it's match for the grid voltage with respect to the system voltage grid frequency with respect to the system frequency and grid power factor with respect to the system power factor directly we can connect it to the on grid system without the battery so battery if the stand alone system the with battery is there based upon the application three thing one is for the thermal application that is the heat energy used for water heating space heating the space cooling another one the chemical application used for para chemical industries the last one is for the electrical applications that is electrical application we can convert the solar radiation into electricity but the output the converted in the form of dc but for as required for ac with the help of inverter the convert dc to ac convert dc to ac today we are discussed about how the solar cell is working that is the working principle of the solar cell it consists of two terminal one is nothing but the n layer another is for the p layer the n type is nothing but the electrons and p type is nothing but the holes based upon the doping nature based upon the depletion nature the electrons is flowing that is p equal to vi you can generate the power again in that the photovoltaic system classified for three types one is for the stand alone system is used for the particular home appliances another one is for the grid connector system you directly connected to the grid here in this the example is represent for the with, with battery but the practically we are synchronizing is without the battery because the cost is high and hybrid system we can't depend only for the single power plan for that purpose we are going for the hybrid system that is the combination of more than one the combination of more than one system is represent for the hybrid system in this the example i have taken one is nothing but the photovoltaic module another one is for the diesel generator set diesel generator set and the vi characteristics of the solar cell with the help of the vi characteristics only we can identify how much the maximum power is generated in a particular pv module in a particular pv module and here the x axis is taken for the voltage and y axis is current and x axis that is vm is represent for the maximum voltage and voc is nothing but short circuit voltage sorry open circuit voltage in y axis is taken for the current that is im is maximum current and isc is 
short circuit current. In this the particular point, we are getting the maximum power that is Pm equal to Vm into Im cos phi. But here we are considering unity power factor that is cos phi equal to 1 that is Vm into Im. Here we can find out the pill factor that is defined as the ratio of uh, maximum voltage with respect to the maximum current and then short circuit voltage with respect to the short circuit current with the help of but the fill factor value is in between 0 to 1 never exceeded the more than the never exceeded more than the 1 and methods of storing solar energy once we are generated the power once we are generated the power immediately we need to send to the consumers but in this the solar photovoltaic system one drawback is that it is not continuous and constant power generation here it is not continuous means in a day we can generate the power the maximum four to six hours per day four to six hours per day in that the four to six hours it is generating continuously constant means no problem from eight o'clock to up to nine nine thirty the power generation is different and 9 30 to 12 o'clock the power generation is different and 12 to 2 o'clock again it should be varying and 2 to 4 again it is varying. for that purpose it is not continuous power generation for that purpose we need directly connected to the utilization so much of the drawback fluctuation is there and our electrical and electronic gadgets are depleted that is damaged to avoid that one we are using for the battery that is the battery whenever the solar radiation is available P equal to VI, we can store the energy. After that, we can utilize the electricity. This we can convert the DC to AC with the help of inverter. After that, we can utilize the AC loads. These are the topics we have discussed. That is working principle of the solar cell and uh, types of photovoltaic system, standalone, grid connected, and then hybrid system. And VI characteristics of photovoltaic cell and how energy is stored, what are the various methods, what are the various methods. Here, three applications is there, one is for the thermal application, electrical application, another one is for the chemical application. In this, based upon the three, that is for thermal application, the storage is different, chemical application storage is different, and the electrical application, the storage is different. Yes, remaining topics we will see in the next class. Up now, any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir.